Um, hello everyone, this is Sir Monch, and in this lecture video, I'm going to talk about literacy in a changing world. This is part of the course Building and Enhancing New Literacies for, Across the Curriculum, Iduk 6 in Surigao del Norte State University. So the coverage of this presentation um, includes the following topics, what literacy is, the two-level theory of uh, new literacies, and um, the, finally the concept of multi-literacies. Okay, so let's begin with what literacy is. The definition or most of the content of this particular section is taken from Frankel and colleagues in 2016 from what lit what is reading to what is literacy. So we begin with early definitions of literacy, how literacy was understood in the 1950s. As you can see here, UNESCO issued a definition of literacy and it was a very simple one. Uh, literacy is a characteristic acquired by individuals in varying degrees from just above none to an indeterminate upper level. So the conceptualization of literacy was like a scale. So morag na ay na sa bottom, na ay sa taas. So, and it's a characteristic that needs to be acquired. Um, some individuals are more or less literate than others, but it is not really possible to speak of literate and illiterate persons as two distinct categories. Tungod kay they are ends of the same continuum man kono. Okay. The problem with this definition or with this very early definition of literacy is wala siya ga specify on sa may skills, on sa may indicators, on sa may markers, what are the specific competencies that a person, that a literate person should have, that a literate person should acquire para matawag siya nga literate, para matawag siya nga na asya you know, per, uh, particular level of literacy. Ang iyang ingon dire, uh, characteristic, no? And that's it, no? Um, later on, um, in the 1960s, um, UNESCO quoted Oxenham in defining literacy. Oxenham defined that a person is literate when he has acquired the essential knowledge and skills. So you see, na anasaygi indicate the ring, na dapat na essential knowledge and skills, which enable the person to engage in all those activities in which literacy is required for effective functioning in his group and community. So kung makadumdumo sa last time, I gave you, I introduced the concept of functional literacy. On sa ganitong functional literacy, the literacy that enables the person to be an active contributor in his or her society. So, dire nagsugod, actually, na literacy began to be defined as um, the capability or a set of skills, essential knowledge and skills that can enable the person to function effectively sa iyong community and whose attainments in reading, writing, and arithmetic make it possible for him to continue to use those skills towards his own and the community's development. So kung sa previous na definition, wala siya mag-specify ng skills this time, o oh, mas naklaro na dapat ang iyang achievements in reading, achievements in writing, and achievements in numeracy or arithmetic, dapat magamit niya para um para magamit niya um for him uh, to continue to use those skills towards his own para sa iyong own personal development and also development sa iyang palibot sa iyong community okay so it was a start actually um for literacy to be considered as a social practice no kay unsay may pasabot ana na murag ang literacy was considered as a social practice meaning ang literacy ang pagkaliterate sa tao magdepende sa iyang interaction sa iyang community sa mga communicative practices sa mga communicative activities na mahitabo sa iyang community Diba? So, dili lang siya simple na karakteristik na literate, illiterate. No. Um, it's a set of skills, set of knowledge na importante sa effective functioning na mahimo siyang active participant, active contributor sa iyang community. 
Okay? No? And that literacy is present in several um, social activities. Therefore, actually, kana na mga time, 1980s, diha nagsugod, um, it was the start for literacy to be considered of as literacies, not literacy. Kay daghan may social practices. Okay, so kung ang tao na ay social communicative practices sa uh, barangay, so that's a different kind of literacy or that requires a different set of literacy skills or knowledge. And then pag sa eskulahan, lahi na pod na set of literacy skills. pag sa simbahan, lahi na pod na literacy skills. So kung sa eskulahan, dapat abti ka mo sulat, abti ka mo explain, abti ka mo handle anang mga multiple choice type na mga tests. pag sa simbahan, dapat kailaka anang sa Biblia on sa mga ritual sa inyong simbahan so kada lain-lain na na situation lain-lain na context lain-lain na part sa um yeah lain-lain na lain-lain na lain-lain na yeah um situation context no lain-lain na place no mag mag call siya ng basta na siya unique na social practices mag require siya ng literacy Okay. Now, ga evolve ang evolution ng uh, ga evolve ang definition ng literacy and this is a good definition that I am going to explain a little bit more. So, literacy according to Frankel in 2016, ingon siya literacy is the process. So, take note of that, okay? Um sa earlier version ang literacy kuno was a characteristic di ba on sa pailain dire um ang next atong 1980s um literacy is a set of skills and knowledge kani sa contemporary definition just in 2016 seven years ago um literacy is the process of using reading writing and oral language to extract construct integrate and critique meaning through interaction and involvement with multimodal texts in the context of socially situated practices. So we will um, break down this definition in several parts in three ways. So the first one is kaning ingon nga process. Kung ang literacy is process, unsa may implication ana? Kung process siya meaning it's continually evolving. So ang ang literacy dili rata According to Frankel, ha, ang literacy is a process. So it's an ongoing activity. Okay? So kung naakasa ka nga social activity, social communicative um, practice, so na ay ga-evolve diha nga literacy na continuously ga-change. Okay? So dili lang siya ka ng, ah, literate na ka. Kay kabalo ka mo basa, mo sulat, mo istorya. No. Kay ang kanina mga skills, kanang ability to read, ability to write, ability to speak, these are only your instruments, imong tools para sa pag-engage sa particular na social practice. And sa kanang process of engagement, naadiha ang literacy. Okay? That is what is meant by literacy as a process. So, also in addition to that, um, Kaning makita sa dinyo sa definition, literacy involves productive as well as recep receptive processes that are more alike than different. On sa maning mga productive na mga processes, um, example, mag-read, no? I know, I know, mag-write, di ba? When you write something, you are producing something. Um, on sa pa, um, when when you speak no you are producing something ang kaning receptive processes when you read diba ga receive ka through reading and also listening pero remember kani these are only processes okay dili ni ang skills mismo these are processes para gamiton sa unsa man sa pag extract pag construct pag integrate and pag critique ng meaning Okay, therefore, our definition of literacy in the contemporary world sa modern na time is the person is literate kung kaya ni siya mo, mo engage sa active process of reading, active process of using oral language, active process of writing. For what purpose? For the purpose of getting the meaning kaning extracting the meaning, mag-construct ng meaning, si Jay mag-create. 
mag-integrate, mag-combine, mag-synthesize, and mag-critique, mag-evaluate ng meaning. Okay? I hope that's clear. That's a little bit complicated compared to the previous definitions of literacy. Also, another, um, mag-critique ng meaning through interaction and involvement with multimodal texts. So this is the first time na atong na-encounter ang multimodal text na ang literacy is a process, um, a process of interacting and acting involvement with multimodal text in the context of socially situated practices. So what does this imply? That literacy, that the literacy process happens in the context of social practices. So mauto akong na-mention na ay various social practices na mag-occur in different contexts. Sa school, sa inyong simbahan, sa inyong panimalay, sa inyong immediate community na adihay mga social practices that involve writing, speaking, listening, and other activities that are socially, culturally, and historically rooted. Okay? And in addition, oh, not yet, not, not, dili pa in addition. So, unsa may pasabot aning, um, unsa may pasabot daw aning multimodal text. So, when we say multimodal, that refers to um, the different modes of meaning making, example, audio, visual, linguistic, spatial, gestural, that are integrated to create electronic multimedia texts. So, mauna ang multimodal text. So, example, digital writing turned into podcasts, turned into vlogs, illustrating graphic novels, creating mashups of existing audio, video, and text for projects. We'll have more of this discussion, kaning multimodal text, in the later part of this discussion so please um, um, wait for that part so mag-focus na lang taani sa kaning kaning aspect nga ang literacy is a process that involves interaction active involvement in the context of socially situated practices so kaning socially situated practices apil na ani for example in school settings kadaghan pay specific context na mahitabo ang literacy kay dili man na, wala man kay general wala man kay singular set of literacy for school diba so siguro naa no kanang mga kanang mga broad skills para matawag kag para maka maka interact ka para ma-involve ka sa mga literacy practices or social practices but there are more specific contexts in which literacy is enacted and those specific contexts are disciplines such as humanity, social sciences, natural sciences, math. So di ba kung sa math for example lumo na sila sa physics, engineering courses so kanang ilang literacy medyo uniform na ay consistency na ay pagkapareho pareho pero kung amti ka sa math magkinahanglan na sab ng lahi na sab na skill for english kay again lahi naman pod na nga social practice lahi naman pod na na context okay so kung amti ka ana sa english oh that's only language so karon lahi na pod dito sa social sciences lahi na pod sa mga natural sciences so you see ang 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 idea there is literacy is almost everywhere as long as na ay social practice na ay social communicative activity okay which involve reading writing speaking and listening Okay, so sa school, as I mentioned, pwede na ay global or general view of being literate. But if you go, if you look closely, na ay mga more specific na mga contexts. So maotong mga disciplinary na mga literacies or disciplinary na mga social practices which call for a different set of um, literacy skills and knowledge. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, um, we will have more about multimodal texts later sa atong discussion. So, karon, let's have a little bit of reflection on some implications for teaching sa pag-evolve ng definition of literacy. So, ang traditional na literacy, just a recapitulation, literacy was considered in the 1950s, 1960s as a preparation for work and maintenance of society and it was purely language-focused. 
no um emphasis on reading and writing focus on spelling punctuation and grammar and values literature of dominant culture ang implication ang teaching mahimong content based rule based test oriented passive learning and teachers as experts kay lagi um si teacher ang magpaigo tanan si teacher ang maghandle tanan kay para mahimo kang literate kinahanglan ra nimo ma-develop tong karakteristik kinahanglan nimo ma-develop tong ability to read ability to write ability to speak ability to listen edi ano sa mga anak maka-learn so si teacher ra dapat tanan okay but today na atay idea na ang atong contemporary view or modern view is literacy is a social practice mahitabo siya sa active engagement sa multimodal text or sa kanang disciplinary fields no literacy as a process so dili siya wala siya katapusan okay mauna ang view modern view of literacy it's an ongoing process it's a continuous process so ang pasabot ani language is still language focused importante gihapon ang reading writing listening speaking pero aside from that thinking skills are an important part of being literate no and also kaning literacy practices are a product of social and cultural practices and the purpose and context influence unsay magsurface na mga literacy practices so maotong for example sa Um, ang context mag-influence kuno sa literacy practices so pag-abot sa social science lahi pag-abot sa natural sciences lahi pag-abot sa pag-abot sa math lahi pag-abot sa inyong simbahan sa inyong balay lahi ng mga literacy practices okay so essentially ang ang modern view gajud karon is somewhat na anatay bias no na it's a better um take it's a better definition of of being literate kay ang pagkaliterate is being an active actively involved na person sa iyang community pero syempre kung maingon kita active involvement sa community that's broad so you can go specific like active involvement sa mga social practices which involve reading writing speaking and listening kay katong mga linguistic skills. So, sa mga implication, Anna, for teachers today, so, there's a need to acknowledge that students come to school with different um different literacies. So, mauna, for example, um, na ay mga sudyante na um, kusog siya sa math literacy, pero pag-abot sa language literacy, hinay. So, on sa may kinangalan buhaton, Anna, So kinahanglan man ka mo develop ng global na literacy no nakanang literate ka sa tanan kay mao gani ang purpose mo eskwela ka kay na kay I mean mo, mo adto ang estudyante sa eskwelahan tungod kay i-expose siya sa different disciplines different subjects para ma-develop ang literacy niya sa tanan curriculum So literacies across the curriculum Okay. Um, next, knowing um, students' social and cultural background and experiences can enhance literacy teaching. Teaching literacy involves teaching about how purpose and context influence choices of language and behavior as literacy is a social practice. So, kabantay mo anang um, na ay literate literacy practice sa panimalay na, for example, when speaking, uh, magtungko ng tiil magtungko-tungko lang ng tiil sa bangko ang isa ka tao no so kanang medyo grabe ka improper grabe ka chill tapos na ay mga tao na dili ba enough murag dili nila dili nila ma-recognize na kung naa na sila sa lahi na context naa na sila sa lahi na situation lahi na lugar lahi na pud na nga so literacy practice lahi na pud na nga communicative practice so pagabot sa eskulahan normal ba na mag sangat-sangat ka ng emotiel sa bangko mag sa teacher so di ba maingon ka dili gajud so mauna ang literacy karon okay na ang literacy is when you're able to take part in the changing nature of literacy so nga man change man ang nature ng literacy dili lang tungod sa aning mga modern technology kundi ga move kita from one context to another ga shift kita from one social practice to another from one discipline to another from one yeah from one situation to another okay now 
This time, let's go to the two-level theory of new literacies. So, it's a theory which will help us um, organize sa kaning idea of literacy na remember, ang literacy, yes, literacy is a social practice. So, kaning mga social communicative practices na adihay mga new literacies na posible mag-emerge. So, grabe kadaghan. That's why plural, new literacies. So, na adere you can read, literacy as a social practice implies that the nature of literacy changes continuously. Kung mag-change po kita or mobile is kita ng social practice, mobile is kita ng context, mobile is kita ng situation. So, mauto akong example ganihan na kung naasa balay, lahi ang social practice, lahi ang literacy practice, lahi po ang literacy practice, social practice sa eskulahan, sa simbahan, and everywhere else. Okay? So, therefore, it's plural. That's why moingon gani ining sila ni Liu. By the way, maone ang source na to. Liu and colleagues published in 2013. Ingon sila ni Liu, the proper um, term to have it, to describe all of these things, is literacies instead of literacy. Okay? There are multiple social contexts, therefore, multiple literacies. So, ingon sila, as a way to account for this continuous change kanang ongoing change sa literacies no um you framed the literacies in two levels so pwede daw sila maklasify or maorganize into a hierarchy no hierarchy so kare kasabot naman mo anang hierarchy so ang lower level mao ni ang lower case new literacies level 1 or new literacies theories small letter n small letter l kun sa man sila nga mga new literacies theories lower case specific areas of literacies and or new technologies so kanang mga specific context specific social practices kun diin na ay unique na literacies ang required mao na ang mga makaver ng lower case new literacies Kung na-apoy new technologies na ma-invent, no? kung na-ay new technology na ma-invent, syempre mag-create na po ng new social practice. Diba? So, lahat na po na nga specific na new literacy. So, remember, diba, before pandemic, na anamang gadyod mo, nakasurvive man tag pandemic, kalo ay sa Diyos. So, before, mag-klase rata sa classroom, pero tungod sa pag-abot ng pandemic, Morag na pogos kita na mag-Google Meet or mag-Zoom. So, tungod anang new technology, edi, na ay na-create na new social practice, na ay na-create na new social communicative activity. As a result, na ay new literacy na natao, no? na introduce So, literacy for Google Meet. So karon na anapod tay portal FGLMS bag una pod na siya. Idi e lahi na pod na ng mga skills. So tungod kay lahi naman pod na na social practice, lahi na pod na specific new literacies. So kaning mga specific areas of new literacies and or new technologies which demand um you know which demand new literacy skills na very specific and very contextualized and situation specific these are all part of lowercase new literacies okay another ah uh, okay not another example so na ay dere ejo makita this is a research study conducted by Hutchison and Best Chorner dira nako ibasa or i-introduce ang entire article pero look at their study nag-study sila using iPad as a tool to support literacy instruction so kaning ilang study is a perfect example of lowercase new literacy na ay iPad new technology giunsa man siya or unsay iyang gamit sa pag-teach ng literacy instruction or unsa may literacy practices unsa may social communicative practices or activities nga related sa idea of literacy ang pwede mag-emerge from using the iPad so kamo for example kung babuhaton mo research or thesis pwede mga ingani na study ijo gamiton so moingon kamo ang theoretical framework ni jo nagamit is lowercase new literacies where your intention is to document, to describe unsay literacy practices na nag-surface sa FGLMS. 
kay I'm sure wala pa nay nakastudy ana kay sa ato ra man na. So unsa may literacy practices? So unsa may new literacies quote unquote lower case na mga nag-occur sa paggamit ana nga portal? Okay? Kay wala na gud tanag na wala na gud ta Google Classroom sa una ga Google Classroom kita di ba pero nag transition kita from Google Classroom to FGLMS karon kay unique man karon so kana that's that's your one way of documenting kay um bag ugod na nga literacy and kana nga literacy for sure dili na exactly the same sa mga literacies na ma-develop ng ubang estudyante sa laing university kay again lahi man pod ilang portal So therefore, kung lahi ilang portal, lahi po ito nga social practice, lahi po ito na new literacy. Okay? Another. So na ako'y nahanap by O'Connor and Casey. So lantawa, nag, nag-publish sila ng instrument that can measure mental health literacy. O sige, nakabati na ba mo ano nga literacy? Ako, when I came across this article, oy. na adi ay mental health literacy. So in this case, this is a specific new literacy, a specific area of new literacies okay, na nag-emerge. And again, part gihapon ni siya ng lowercase new literacies. So naapod tayo from the Philippines by Abiyog. Um, this is um, a researcher from the University of Santo Tomas in Manila. So iyang gidocument ang online reading and viewing ng mga college students in the time of the pandemic. So more about katong pag-access sa internet, pagbasa sa mga web pages no, sa internet. So still, that's part of lowercase new literacies. Now this time let's move to level 2 kaning uppercase new literacies or capital letter N capital letter L new literacies theory So kadtong mga commonalities and patterns and themes na mag-emerge from all very specific new literacies mauto ang mag-comprise sa uppercase new literacies theory So, mura siyag, mura siyag kanang global, mura siyag generic na new literacies. Kung unsay makita dito sa mga specific na mga new literacies. Okay? So, pwede, pwede, good, pwede pod na kanang smaller global na apo yung mga bigger global. So, for example, na atay iingon nga uppercase new literacies of SSCT students. Ah, no, sorry. Up, um, uppercase new literacies of SNSC students. So, kung nga na, uppercase new literacies ng SNSC students, edi dapat, ang imong uppercase new literacies, ang composition ana is unsay common sa mga new literacies sa kada discipline, sa kada area, sa kada technology na naapresent sa SNSU. Diba? Pagamit ng portal, pagamit ng library, pakikistorya sa maistra, um, pag-access sa mga facilities aside from uh, literacy sa math, sa science, and other subjects. No? Naka ng unique sa ato. So in that case, na akay smaller, more specific na mga new literacies, lower case, and then sila yung mag-feed ng information para mag-create ng framework kung on sa man ang kaning uppercase new literacies for, um, let's say, SNSU student. Maulag ito akong na-mention. So pwede na ka na, na idea na ka ng consistent patterns na nakita sa mga lower case literacies. Pwede sab na ka ng much, much bigger or much, much broader na perspective. So for example, being a Filipino, the liter- new literacies uppercase of a Filipino college student. So in that case, kay Filipino naman, grabe na imong coverage, grabe na ang context ni mo, intero na nanasod. So, as of right now, that's impossible to take into account tungod kay na-explore na ba na to ang mga, mga specific na mga lowercase new literacies? So, di ba, wala pa. Kay kung, kung Filipino students na gajud na uppercase na new literacies ang imo gusto mahimalan, so dapat, dapat ang imo asa ma-document, ang imong ma-studyhan, no? 
ang imong ma maimbestigahan is katong mga lower case new literacies on the ground no so students sa pagka elementary pagka high school and that's a very big project to do para mahibalaan ang unsay upper case new literacies na ingan ka broad okay however na ay central principles ang upper case new literacies na laong pa kung makaform man galing ta ng upper case new literacies na theory mao gud daw ni ang characteristics ingon ni Liu and colleagues in 2013 first the internet is this generation's defining technology for literacy and learning within our global community which means na Um, katong thinking tools, if you remember our first chapter, di ba, ato nang di-identify na the most potent na force na nag-introduce ng 21st century learning is katong thinking tools and actually appeal na ang internet. And that is the same um, conceptualization by Liu and colleagues na ingon sila ang mag-define ng new literacies, lowercase and uppercase new literacies is magadepende kita sa paggamit nato sa internet. No? So that's item number two. The internet and related technologies require new literacies to fully access their potential. So unsaon man na mo pag, pag maximize ang internet, new technologies, for example, FGLMS, tapos na ano sila in mabuhat later on. So unsaon man na pag maximize? Pag ma-maximize na sila mga new technologies kung mahibal anato unsay required na new literacies kay para matudlo nato sa uban okay uh, next new literacies are deictic unsa may pasabot aning new literacies are deictic when we say deictic mao ni ang concept or idea where ang new literacies get change almost every day Okay? So, kaman, ga-change man siya almost every day. Kaya lagi, lahi-lahi pa ng social practices. Lahi-lahi ang actors involved. Lahi-lahi ng mga people involved. So, atong example ka ina, lahi ang new literacy sa balay, lahi ang literacy sa simbahan. Pero, what if na ay bisita na po na maabot sa inyong balay? So, ang inyong literacy sa inyong balay ga-change po, ga-evolve. So sa simbahan lahi na sab ang ijo pare lahi na sab ijong pastor o na ay nasay mga manimbahay na taga lain lugar ma change mag evolve na pod ang inyong new literacies okay so mauna ang idea ng literacies being deictic because ga change siya almost every day so mao gani ito kung mabalik ta sa definition earlier ng literacy dili siya karakteristik dili lang siya simple na knowledge and skills na writing reading and spoken language no it's a process okay it's a continuous process it's an ongoing process because nahitabo siya sa social practices social communicative activities nga ga change po almost every day Okay. Um, number four, according to Liu, new literacies are multiple, multimodal, and multifaceted. So you see, maone atong second encounter ng multimodal. So unsa mo jipas about areas are kading new literacies na multimodal. So we'll have more of that later, as I mentioned. Basta definitely there are multiple. So kasabot nata aning multiplicity of new literacies kay lagi dai lain man tanang mga social practices no dag high social practices dag high discipline specific na mga social practices which would call for different new uh new literacies uppercase lowercase okay critical literacies are central to new literacies you get the idea na uh, mahimo kitang critical thinker para ma-develop ang new literacies kay syempre we won't be able to um engage actively sa kanang ongoing process of um literacy kanang ongoing social communicative activity if dili ta critical thinkers So, diha musulod ang critical thinking. Uh, number six, new forms of strategic knowledge are required with new literacies. Uh, new social practices are a central element of new literacies and teachers become more important though their role changes within new literacy classrooms. So, more like gina-echo tong atong modern or contemporary definition um, 
na tong kang Frankel 2016 na naay implication sa teaching na ay change dapat sa behavior ng teachers um sa pag-abot or sa pag-recognize sa pag-acknowledge nato nga na ay new literacies na nag-occur sa specific contexts okay so by the way um kaning teaching implications teaching implications or implications for teachers implications for students ato ning i-discuss pag ayo sa next na chapter okay so dere mas mag-focus lang ta sa um concept of literacy in a changing world so na ay implications for teaching gihapon akong gipakita so i'm not gonna discuss this anymore feel free to pause this lecture video para maka-reflect mo sa kung unsay content na naa sa screen Principles 1 to 8. Okay, so this is an example of katong gigamit niya ang uppercase new literacies as an interpretive uh, lens sa pag-evaluate niya ng technology-mediated na literacy classrooms. Again, lain na po ni na suggestion for thesis no? na kung iyan ni mabuhat later on kung mag-thesis ka mo or let's say maskin mag-master's degree ka mo, pohon. Pwede niyo gamiton ang katong eight assumptions or eight propositions of uppercase new literacies. Ang iyan na siya lang tawon kung giyon siya sa pag-practice, kung giyon siya sa pag-manifest, pag-observe ng isa ka-teacher or ng many teachers. For example, uh, mupili mo Surigao del Norte National High School, SNNHS. So, unsa may ilang uppercase new literacies practices. So, unsa mo na yung pagkahibayo, imo i-examine using kadong individual na propositions katong walo ka buok so gagamit ba sila internet sa ilang klase um unsa pa to uh, tick ba pod ang ilang new literacies kanang gina-adjust ba siya every day or every sem no or every year hmm, kana and so on and so forth no now this time let's go to the concept or the idea of multi literacies So, ang akong source ani Ansi and Ball and the New London Group 1996. I hope you realize by now na ever since uh, nag-prepare ta aning sa kaning atong subject, um, ijo mapansin, I don't use single set of resources. Dili ta bookish ha, because that's one thing na dili man hinoon akong gina-avoid but that's something that I found inadequate. So, sa una, si pila man kasauna mga five years ago tingali makontento ra ko isa ka libro so gamiton ra pod ang tanan ginasulti ana nga libro but later on somehow i became critical so nagingon ko murag kulang man ni eh. um dili man enough ang iyang ginasulti dili man ni ma-develop ang ang skills ng students na akong gusto na ma-develop sa students so mauna ang something na iju kinahanglan ma-develop pod if you consider literacy instruction or new literacies or multiple literacies for you and for your students okay now you should always critique na enough ba ni sakto ba ni substantial ba ni kay kung dili o sige ikaw hanap ng resources so syempre kinsa may unsa may mag-guide ana sa imo you should have a purpose in mind so kana gyud ang pinakaimportante I'm I'm sharing this to kay magamit in ninyo kay 'di ba I told you magbuhat mag multimodal project the most important element in creating a multi multimodal project is your purpose unsa may objective unsa may purpose so for example in my case as your instructor na ako'y purpose na ako'y na ako'y na ako'y agenda kung unsay akong gusto na ma-develop na mga skills sa akong mga bata So diha ako nagdepende. So clear sa ako ang kana nga agenda, clear sa ako ang kana nga purpose, edi maghanap kog mga materials na mag-enable sa ako and my students para ma-meet ang akong purpose. Lahi man ang nagsugod na ka sa materials, so nagsugod na ka sa kalibro tapos mo adjust ra kan imong purpose na ah, mauna na kung unsay na sa libro oh, mauna na. Edi That's ano, that's inflexible. Kay we don't know kanang libro na sulat sa time for example 20 um unsa pa ni time na nabuhat siya mga 10 years ago, 3 years ago or even 1 year ago. No kay ga change ba ang literacy. 
no ga change ang social practices ga change ang social communicative activities taglayan lain na context taglayan lain na situation will call for a different set of new literacies so ang mahitabo gyud ana is imong bukon tong mga materials from the past so maotong ako ah, kadiri kuha kadiri kuha kadiri kay maoy useful sa karon nga context So later on ako nang i-explain kay diri na ma-showcase sa multiliteracies. Okay, just a bit of history in 1994. So on sa maning 1994 mga uh, mga 30 years. A group of international literacy educators from the UK, USA and Australia met in New London, New Hampshire, USA. They had vastly different interests and specializations in literacy education. They wished to re-examine literacy and literacy pedagogy in terms of the rapid changes in society. The result of their discussion was the term multiliteracies. That was the first time that multiliteracies as a term was introduced. and they were able to publish a paper called A Pedagogy of Multiliteracies Designing Social Future. So ang author New London Group kay nga naman grupo man siya ng mga literacy experts. Okay, so daghan sila kaayo so para maisarakan gitawag sila nga New London Group kay nagbuhat man sila nagmeet man sila sa New London in the USA. So na, that was published in 1996. So kani mao ang article A Pedagogy of Multiliteracies and you can download this article from Google ra search ra lamang A Pedagogy of Multiliteracies. Pwede ni jo basahon but magwarn lang ko nga medyo lisod siya basahon. Ngano lisod siya basahon kay um aside sa pino, baga. Tapos it can be boring kay daghan siya storytelling, no? So kung mo fit mo ana nga kind of um content no wala ka ayoy multimodality so moko anra mo ana mo adjust ra mo ana pero sa ako na case mismo mag maglisod ko pag maglisod ko pag basa maglisod ko pag appreciate sa article so akong gibuhat nag basa lang ko gamay and then naghanap na ko ng lain resources na maunay mas naghatag ng clearer picture or better rendering kung unsay luon ana nga article that's why you can see here na ana koy ANSI and Bull 2018 kay mas na ana siya fresher or newer um take or pagpasabot sa kung unsa tong gipangingon ng New London Group in 1996 okay so what is meant by the term multiliteracies multiliteracies is a concept of literacy as being multimodal So uh, this is the third time na gi-mention ang multimodal. So this time, kung giingon last time na, 'di ba, sa sa contemporary review literacy as a process. Tapos ingon ni Liu and colleagues, literacy, yes, it's a process. Yes, multimodal. Yes, multiple. Pero na ay smaller, lowercase new literacies na apoy uppercase uh, new literacies. This time, must focus ang iyang definition, ang concept ng multiliteracy sa concept ng multimodal texts. So, literacy, uh, ang multiliteracies is a concept um, that says literacy is multimodal rather than language dominant, being made up of multiple literacies and multiple literacy practices that continuously evolve, that continuously change as local and global society, culture, technology change the context in which literacy is practiced so i believe that's clear ga change ang atong society ga change ang culture ga change ang technology gina change nila ang context kung diin ga apply kung diin ga gagamit ta ng literacy na mga skills no multiliteracies enable capacities to cope with change and effectively participate and contribute to all aspects of society including workplace leisure social cultural and civic environment so maupod ni akong na appreciate sa definition ng multiliteracies kay apil na ang idea of functional literacy so di ba kadumdum sa functional literacy mahimong effective contributor mahimong effective na participant ang isa ka tao sa iniyang community so apil na si Jagi cover sa multiliteracies na mag-enable sa para mo cope with change and effectively participate and contribute sa tanan aspeto ng society sa trabaho sa leisure, sa social, 
apil pa apil na ang school no cultural and civic environments okay so this is a brief figure din na ko siya i-explain pag ayo kay major self explanatory na siya na ang changing globalized world necessitates changing literacies and changing pedagogies so tungod kay na ay changing technologies and then changing diverse social and cultural contexts plus na ay multi na ay presence of multimodal texts mauna ang nag set ng stage for multi literacies So kasabot ta on say pasabot aning changing technologies kasabot pa ta aning diverse social and cultural context kun sa maning multimodal texts so mao na ni atong i-cover karon okay kun say multimodal text kay ang mini magud ani so as as defined earlier being multiliterate means being multimodal to be multiliterate means being able to engage with all five semiotic systems or si systems of signs and symbols okay these are also described as modes so na ako no tay five different systems of signs and symbols na atong ginagamit for communication so na atay linguistic semiotic system or linguistic mode So maoni ang mode that involves written language incorporating choice of nouns verbs adjectives and conjunctions na apod tay visual semiotic system or visual mode so maoni ang paggamit ng images moving images still images incorporating choice of color vectors and point of view na apod tay audio na semiotic system or audio mode auditory mode which involves kaning music no gamit man pud na sa communication effects sound effects incorporating volume um pitch and rhythm and then number four, gestural so ikaupat pa ni uh, gestural semiotic system so apil gihapon gamit sa communication ang kaning facial expression body language incorporating eyebrow position movement of head arms hands and legs and lastly spatial spatial semiotic system um, or spatial mode so mauni ang katong na ay involvement ang layout organization of objects and space incorporating proximity direction and position remember mauni ang lima ka system of signs and symbols na atong gamit sa atong social practices gamit sa atong communicative practices so ang pasabot ra ani is ang pagcommunicate sa atong palibot kung ato buot huna huna on kung atong i-analyze pag-ayo dili lang words ato gamit di ba so dili lang puro linguistic system dili lang linguistic mo dili lang linguistic semiotic system kay dili raman written spoken language dili raman gagamit pod tag pictures gagamit tag sounds movements as well as kaning pagmanipulate sa space or the spatial semiotic system Okay, so each mode or each semiotic system is governed by a set of rules or conventions or grammar that serves to guide the user into using combinations of the individual terms to make meanings. Example, use of squares and circles in a research framework. So kani ako lang ini share briefly. Um, later on, kung magbuhat na kamo thesis or research. kung magbuhat mo research or yeah mga studies kung maghimo na kamo og um, let's say conceptual framework or maghimo na kamo ng unsa pa ni kaning sa pay term nila dire mga schematic diagram so na learn ako ni later pa na dili di ay magpataka-taka gamit kung i-circle ba nimo ang kanang figure sa study or i-square or i-rectangle kay na ay meaning so na ay mga students na akong students karon sa ilang hierarchies na activity nag-comment ko kay naggamit-gamit silag arrow kay naapod na meaning kanang arrow kay again unsa man na that's a visual element diba that's a visual element na when you use certain visual elements or visual components in any text na anay meaning So let's say kung arrow lang na neutral that indicates connection kung ang arrow is one directional so that indicates cause and effect relationship kung ang arrow is two directional um na ay two way na ay at 
tusok sa tumoy, sa isig ka tumoy, that indicates bidirectional cause and effect relationship. So kadaghay kadaghay meaning kung lingin, kung 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 circular, kung spherical, kung square na ay meaning di ay ana sa symbols. So, siyempre, kabalo kita kung ari kita sa linguistic, for example, kabalo ta sa grammar, subject verb agreement, when to use particular words, unsay meaning anang words, kana part na sa linguistic semiotic system. Pero ang mga tao medyo na ay dili o na ay kakuyangon gamay kay tungod lagi kay wala man na sila ma-involve ana nga social practice um dili sila mahibalo unsay mga hidden meanings anang sa use of colors um sa space proximity etc etc but remember unlike grammar in the traditional linguistic semiotic system so di ba sa grammar kabalo man ta fixed mga jud na mga jud mga rules no the conventions or katong mga rules in the four new semiotic systems from visual um audio um sa patong isa gestural and spatial medyo flexible and dynamic so magchange pud siya depende sa context therefore multimodal texts are texts that combine two or more modes of meaning making So kanina define na nato unsay pasabot sa multimodal texts. So texts that combine two or more modes of meaning making. Example, TikTok post. So kani is a perfect example na present ang possibly present ang tanan lima ka semiotic systems or lima ka modes of meaning making. Si ba in a TikTok video na akay captions na mabutang, so that is linguistic. Na ay video na ay gasulti diha, so that is visual plus gestural kay ga man. Na apay sound o na apay audio, na apay spacing ang paglayout sa video. So present ang lima. That's a multimodal text. So dapat ijo mateman an karon therefore kung mogamit ng word na text dili lang siya text kay kanang gisulat na text message mga words lang no ang text is depende kung multimodal if the text is multimodal naa na siya'y sound naa na siya'y naa na siya'y images naa siya'y spacing etc etc another example infographics so ay nakabuhat na day mog multimodal project Diba? So atong nagbuhat mo og infographics, unsa man to nga multimodal text, unsa may na combine, na combine na ay word, so na ay linguistic, na ay pictures, so na ay visual, um di- visual semiotic system. Um what else? Na abay sound? Wala. Na abay video? Wala. Na abay spatial? Hmm, siguro gamay kay sa layout and organization. So turo, out to three out of five. Okay? So I hope you anticipate this time na ang ijo buhaton na multimodal project for this chapter is a multimodal project that integrates all modes or all semiotic systems. So na other examples there digital comics and advertisements. Now further conceptions about texts. So remember all texts today are multimodal actually mas kan sa kanang libro na ama na spacing na ay layouting no sa newspaper um sa newspaper na mas kin words ra na na gihapoy layouting so na aga join nay am um, linguistic and spatial semiotic systems pero mas complex na ang multimodality ng mga text karon kay more often than not na anaga jay pictures and mao na sa atong social media na ay multimodal texts almost everywhere na ay sound na ay video na ay text na ay spacing na ay linguistic halos tanan na present next all texts are continu- are consciously constructed and have particular purposes so mauni ang ijong timan na uh, when we create a multimodal project or a multimodal text, Text, there has to be a conscious purpose in mind na amoy mag-guide sa imo in creating your multimodal project. Next, texts are becoming more screen-like as design and designing become more central to the production of texts. So, maupod na ang ijong timanan na um, ang text karon more design, um, yeah, more screen-like na siya. Um, kadali lang. And then, Text can be interactive, non-linear. Text may be intertextual. When we say intertextual, intertextual mag-cross siya ng mga platforms or media. 
Um, a text may have several possible meanings. No text is neutral. Na ajay meaning na or kung gibuhat na siya for one purpose or for let's say for no purpose, mahanapan gudud na ng meaning ng lain or pagabot sa lain na social practice. And text will continue to change as society and technology change. Yung maupo to akong na-mention. So therefore, it's not about reading anymore, not about writing. Reading and writing, obsolete na gadyad na. So mauna sa atong opening activity, new literacies is, uh, ang new literacy is no longer confined to traditional reading and writing. Ang idea na karon, ang literacy, is described in terms of the ability of people to consume and produce multimodal texts. That is at least based on the concept of multiliteracies. So when we say consuming, you make meaning with multimodal text in order for a particular purpose uh, to fulfill a particular purpose in a particular context may involve interaction with others, etc., etc. In producing, you design and you create a multimodal text uh, together with a selection of means of dissemination, etc., etc. So you may read, you may post this lecture video. So tong akong announce sa Ejo last time na naamoy lang tao na TED Talk, naamoy lang tao na documentary film, Kabalo na mo karon na a ah, wanda ito sir ang among performance task is consuming a multimodal text. Tapos nagingon pa ko ay mag-create mag multimodal project and that is producing multimodal text. Okay? So producing and consuming are both dynamic and involve continuous activities. So kay mauna siya ang process. So naadyo siya ma murag pwede siya ma center around designing kay maskin sa pagkonsum and pagproduce um naa involve ang designing so remember ang akong gibuhat for example in creating this powerpoint presentation unsa may akong gibuhat ani gakuha ra pud ko ng mga existing na mga symbols and signs from various resources so kaning designs gikan man sa Canva kaning linguistic na mga signs and symbols gikan man sa various materials akong gi put together and then gamit akong laptop gamit ang zoom nagka-create ko nag-integrate ko ng audio element sa ininga sa ininga sa ininga text so unsa na may multimodality ng ini na material na anay pilaman upat di ba kuyang ra ang video no so kung na ay video diha na ay use of gestures na ay use of body ako di lang ko comfortable magpakita og nawaw so ang akong facial expression din ako mapakita so ang multimodality ini limited ra into 4 so 4 over 5 and these are the resources na atong gamiton sa pagproduce ng multimodal text so naaga jud pinaka on top ha a purpose kinsa po ng audience and then other resources magfocus lang ta aning kaning isa sa bottom semiotic resources so just briefly ako lang i-orient on sa maning mga semiotic um rules no rules in um visual semiotic system so mauni sa audio mauni gestural mauni spatial and then linguistic okay in conclusion ato na ning tapuson Remember always that the nature of literacy is changing because the world is changing. It it continues to change. Therefore, expect that literacy will change even 10 years, 5 years, or 20 years from now. And in addition to that, we need to remember that there are multiple new literacies or specific social practices and technologies, but there is also a broader new literacies. And the concept of multiliteracies forces us to look at multimodal text. So, kana na atong gina-interact karon dili na jud libro lang. Ang ato na ginalantaw is kanang multimodality ng mga, uh, ng mga texts. So, dili na siya mabasa, dili na siya masulat, kung dili maproduce na siya or makonsume. And lastly, the concept Concepts of new literacies and multiliteracies demand educators and teachers to implement classroom changes. And again, this is a conversation for next chapter. Unsa may buhaton ni teacher after knowing these things? Unsa may buhaton dapat na changes ni teacher sa iyang classroom? Or, yeah, considering na dapat uh, mindful na kita sa mga new literacies na mag-occur. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this lecture video and I hope you learned something.